Hello, I'm Ermina Oplican, Country Director, IIU Romania, President of Women Entrepreneurs Council, IIU, and Board Member, IIU. International Internship University, IIU, is a leading virtual education system and global brand confederation, which is the most valuable and trusted worldwide and well reputed in delivering innovative programs. Globally, it is a trusted name for quality training programs and is committed to providing better and virtual education to all the young learners of the globe. IIU is metamorphosing the conventional education system by cutting down the additional cost and providing access to more than 1,000 plus courses and internships to their learners across the globe with the help of its 100,000 plus global educators. In a short span of time, IIU has spring its wings in 195 countries and six continents under the strong leadership of its visionary founder, Mr. Piyush Pandit Sia. A cognitive and inspiring social activist, a passionate educationist from the last two decades, providing education to students from various social and cultural backgrounds. IIU has formed its four councils, namely Women Entrepreneurs Council, International Student Development Council, International Youth Development Council, International Council of Educators. The main objective behind the council is to provide support in every respect to the students, youth, women, entrepreneurs, and educators. IIU is coming up with the biggest knowledge exchange program, BICA. All the students are invited to be a part of it. IIU have started the membership drive for the International Student Development Council. Registration are open. Be the change with IIU. And now let's start after the presentation of the great IIU. Let's start our session today. Welcome to the topic School Without Walls, Open Mindset. Let's go further. The hold the child, to hold the child's soul in the palm of your hand is a certainly a privilege. Being important in a child's life is perhaps a divine gift, is a quote, my preferred quote, of a uh, write by Jan Jack Rousseau. The term education comes from the Latin. I love Latin. Educo, meaning the cultivate to grow and educatio, growth, leaders, education. Education is a major factor of social cultural integration throughout solidarity, learning of facts, knowledge, and values, models. To meet their needs and also to be useful for society, the individual adopts behavior and the set of values and ideas specific to the society in which he develops. Mindset, what is mindset? The mindset is how I see others and how I see myself. If I see children as an object, as a mean of getting what I need, validation as a teacher of appreciation of other adults, then children will feel it. Even without I smile, my mindset comes to the surface. The students feel the teacher mindset and they are going to resist because they want to be seen as people, not as objects. When my mindset is out of facing and the student is not behaving nicely, I begin to feel compassion to think about what I could do to help him. When I get defensive, it's like a wake up call that I'm just thinking about myself. Why does this chill make me one like this? I think the first step towards creating an environment that does not require total control is the awareness that my mindset is self-oriented. Maybe if I become more interested in my students, it will be easier. The more I know my students, the smaller my inner struggle is. 
having an open mindset does not necessarily mean that you have a soul behavior. The important thing is to treat them like a person, to talk to them personally, to talk one-to-one, -to, -one, to talk and show them that you care. To achieve a children's collaboration, whether we are teachers or parents, has three basic steps. Adjust your mindset. Learn to get to know your children better. Look at them, a person. Look a person when you correct them. Let's go further. I don't know what's happened with my presentation. Okay. It's not okay. Nada, if you can help me. Uh, yes, you can start. Uh, you can start again, please, and go to the uh, third slide. Yes, I will go. I will try to start again. Yes. Um, yes. Let's see. I don't know what's happened. It's happened in online. It's happened. Everything. Yeah. Not worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. From, uh, from current slide. Yeah. Let's go further. Uh, here okay let's uh, go uh, Ermina, it's mm -hmm. not... okay great great to achieve children's collaboration whether we are teachers or parents has three basic steps adjust your mindset learn to get to know your children better look at them as a person when you correct them in the closing mindset the focus is only my goals and the other are objects often even obstacles. Uh, on the other hand, in the open mindset, I see the other equal, a person with goals, challenges, the matter as much as they do to me. In open mindset, I don't give up on my goals, just I adjust them. The change in the system must start from us. Teachers need to become agents of change and think that each of us uh, it after every class or school day, we give ourselves 30 minutes of reflection. I think, I think, I think, I think of what I do today. Uh, we will have a lot to learn. Every day we learn. From the perspective of the concept of a closed mentality, we see the most of the time we self-sabotage and choose to see the distorted reality. If we don't trust ourselves, how can we give confidence to students? Tell me, you can write in the chat. Is possible this? If I have no trust in me, how could I give trust to students? How can I give wings to the students? How can I do this? Is possible? I wait your answer. To be human means, first of all, not be humble, but to realize that you still have a lot to learn. You stretch bridge to others. Always, always like a teacher, we stretch bridge for our students. Like a mother, I stretch bridge from my children, uh, from my neighbors, for everybody. Always we stretch bridge. Exist in education as in a life window of freedom. Why window and not door? Please, I wait your answer in chat. Why window? Why I say window and not door? Why I say wall, walls and not door? Because we don't go out the window. The window, we open it from the inside. We are protected. The decision to open is belong to us and just to us. Even if someone else wants built. Light can penetrate throughout the windows, even if we choose not to open it, but for maximum effect, we must make it so that fresh, fresh, fresh air can also enter inside. Why freedom? Because we can experience everything we say, we can experience the rest of the time. We can do this. We are human beings. We can do. We can strength. I'm sorry. I come. 
We can strengthen our circles or abolish them. Uh, we can convince ourselves that some puzzling strategies actually work. We can be wrong and eliminate errors. We can let children discover the mind inside us, our beautiful side, as a curious person, a book maybe, a book lover, passionate about learning, creative, open to the new, empathetic. We can know the children's size of their children's soul, left our mindful set because there are too many fears, a conference, stakes. All this exists, not just stories. The benefits of the integrated outdoor activities are significant, but pedagogically and physically, mentally and socially. Children connect with nature, breathe, pressure, exercise, socialize, and collaborate much better in this environment. They explore and learn through discovery, appealing the, their natural, natural curiosity. All children have this natural curiosity. I believe that no formal education, outdoor with outdoor education, can be successfully integrated into formal education, which certainly leads to an increase in the quality of learning and the installation of well-beings for both students and teachers. Go in excursion, um, make a camp. Uh, I love this. In, Every year I go in trips with them. They love this. I make um, flash mobs. Um, I am a nature lover. I try to give them the slope, to transmit the slope to children. Uh, we make uh, many campaigns for uh, help, help climate change, for stop the pollution. We love to do this. We can organize all, also online contest day, maybe quiz day on various topics, offering the opportunity to win a prize in team with the class. Will be great. I do this, I do this and was great. We can make a day without uniform, will be perfect for the schools where is this uniform. A treasure hunt day, a treasure hunt with clues and challenges, picnic reading day, picnic and reading folksy blankets and snacks, uh, or your favorite book, uh, or your favorite doll or toy, and um, out, out in the sun. The school, education, not mean just school, just school, just walls, not mean this. We can be different. I'm sure that all of us teachers, we can be different. The students I'm sorry. Let's go again. Nowadays in The students of times no longer learn by sitting quickly in benches with pen in hand and eyes at the blackboard, but they need visual support, uh, courage, stimulating movement, and her lessons are real adventure for children in which they are challenging to discover, to experiment, to ask. From my point of view, effectively transposed into the motivation and learnings is one of the important factors. In the information of students' personality, in school activity education, trial log is the most effective way of development and training. Um, effective learning means participatory, active and creative learning. This is type of learning cannot be achieved with students stuck in bench. No, this was now so many times, so long times. I put a lot of emphasis on the direct involvement on the child in learning, on the transition from the concept to the abstract, on the experience of reality throughout as many means as possible. Only in this nation that he is going to assimilate 
and internalize together with the students. I created, we created the solar system by correctly positioning the inflatable planets in relation with the sun to the sun. We explore the human body using life size casts. They were excited. They understand more easy. Uh, we make also a volcano, a big volcano, like in reality, it was a wow day. They were so happy and they go home and say, mom, I love to go to school. I love to do this. I love to do this. This is a happiness for children. This is a happiness. They learn. They learn. And this activity for them means happiness, means fun, means learn. Nowadays, the teaching learning activity should take the form of college adventure in which the child is challenged to actively participate, to discover facts, to observe the phenomenon, to experience process, and the role of the teacher to be more stimulation, guidance, and motivation. Throughout an enthusiastic participation, please in the chat, you can write example, example how you motivate the children, what different activity you make with them. Please, I want to see this. I want to be there in chat. Um, they need guidance and motivation throughout an enthusiastic participation. The, pl to, the playful approach to learning makes children happy to come to school. I say this, it is necessary that the activity in which he participate be presented in an attractive manner as a story um, of which he is also part to even feel that uh, he has on of the mind the uh, roles of the story. You can uh, always, always I make story for them or I have an orphanage where I go one, uh, one time on week I have the, I'm the spiritual mother of uh, 22 children from there and they wait me in every week they wait me because uh, uh, they know that I come and uh, uh, for sure I don't know all stories but the opera can make a story can create a story and uh, they are so happy when they are the personage of the story um, we must listen to the children we must imply in our activity this is the role of education this is the most important in education i think we should teach children first and first the most to be human to be good and to do good whenever they can to help people to help each other in every generation in first first class, zero class at us, um, I try to learn how, how the importance of help each other, to, to, to don't have moments of bullying, because if you create this group and you uh, talk about respect every day, uh, if they have a minimum of rules, like don't hit your colleague, don't gloat uh, about your colleague, don't put nicknames, something like this. Um, they will learn this, is exercise, simply exercise. That should be our goal as parents. Yes, we are parents, we are teacher, we are parents. To raise them by reminding them how good it is to look into your soul, and like what you find, that everything in the teaching profession is based on building relationship. Instead of working about teaching the curriculum, of making sure you have a strict classroom environment, build relationship first, get the trust of children, bring them on board, connect with them, Find out what passion they have. Maybe one children is a big singer. Maybe one children will be a big actor. You must see this. You must go, go directly in his souls to feel. It's most important for us like 
teachers to be empathic, to feel the soul of children, to make this profession with love. We can find a passion, what passion to have, what captures the attentions. Maybe in a day, um, I don't know a name, Michael is really absent, um, not physically, but his mind is another way. And I asked me, maybe it's a not, a not good day for him. Maybe he has problems. Maybe out rain and he don't love rain, rain. I must understand their soul, the soul of the children. Because in their soul, in their mind, they are always, always connection. We are mothers for them. We are mothers. If I talk to you, see in your class um, these things, because we are mothers, I want to say this. If I talk, usually I talk, my voice is, um, is uh, loud. And um, sometimes children make this. Uh, try to talk like my voice, to emit my voice, they emit, they emit. We are their models in all. We, they see, oh, my teacher have a great dress. I want a dress like my teacher. Yeah, model. Build the relationship, build that trust. The relationship between teacher and student. It is a quote that I really like, I like so much. The relationship is the curricula. The relationship brings the curricula because I learn them, I learn them. What is important is not what I learn, how I learn, how I learn. Uh, studies, again, Studies show that the relationship is the first to matter in the development and professional development of a student. If you have a good relationship with a teacher and enough time, you can learn anything. This is another important factor for a good education, time. Have time to learn, not run. We have now, it's a running time. Everybody run. Everybody run. We we don't have time for nothing. We are always in rush, always in running, always in running. Have time to learn at your own pace and your own way. American psychologists have found that 64% of adults are not developed to a higher level of development that of self authorship in which we are the authors and the authority of our own decision. Many times I have heard from my parents, I wish I had learned these things myself in school. I think it's never too late. You can learn, we learn in this life, we continually learn. I think it's never too late for anyone to learn. That's being vision, this is a big vision uh, to do a dual curriculum in school. A school that is a service of learning, not only of children, but also of adults. We must have the traditional, the traditional education with a modern education, because now we are in a digital generation, digital era. We must adapt with this not complain, we must go further, we must learn, we continually learn. What well, means this uh, dual curricula? If it's an education system, we give the child the skills. He needs to be a fulfilled, responsible adult. Who knows what he wants? Understand, is good, but physically, and emotionally and intellectually and from all points of view, then why not give them to the adults as well? Why not all learn all time? My girl asked me one day, mom, why all people ask me what I want to become when I will be, when I will grow? 
why I must uh, be in a rush to running to go in rush to go to grow. And I understand this. It's not fair for our children to tell him to give us an idea. They must develop. They must feel the future profession. They, sure, we must give them wings. We must be there. We must listen to their mind, their soul. We must be there always for them. But let your children to choose a good way, the good way, the best way for them. Now, I pray you, you have um, uh, Nada will uh, share in chat, in live chat, a Mentimeter. Please, you have here a question because I love to be in contact with people. I love people. I love to talk with people. I love, I will love to hear your voice, uh, to hear your thoughts. Uh, yes, I will read you a few, uh, few uh, chat, uh, what they write in the chat. Uh, our for you said very deep and critical thinking for educators. Thank you so much. Uh, Maria said the passion for education has always been manifested, perhaps before choosing to become a teacher. There was simply a natural attraction to children and a desire to guide and teach them to develop. The mindset is how I see others and how I see myself. If okay. I see children is an object as means of getting what I need. Uh, yes, of course, uh, not important what I learn, but how I learn is the most important. That's so true. Teachers have a great impact on their students and the student-teacher relationship is the number one key to achieving a fruitful educational journey. Uh, many, many uh, great answers uh, and great examples. Uh, I will put now the Menti. So, Edmina, we will see that. Thank you, Nada. Thank you so much. And thank you for your comments. Great, great, great. Thank you because you was uh, near to us today and uh, I love the interactivity, like I say, thank you. Uh, please, you have in Mentimeter uh, one question, I want to hear your voice. What school without wolf means to you? I was um, tell you about wolf, about windows. We can make education just in this school or we can make education all around us. I want to hear your, your thoughts because I'm telling you today my thoughts. Here you have the code of voting, 2444-6473. And um, I will share you the results of Mentimeter. I have here the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Yes, uh, in Article 26, uh, summarizing education is a cultural, interactive, and formative activity which provides benefits, optimizing changes for the development of human personality um, and the development of society. It is also the product of this activity. All people should benefit from education and universal right. We have here the global development of the child contributes disability for integration, socialization, achieving education goals. We all, we all have our proper education goals, yes? Um, First, artistic development, physical development, cognitive operation, communication, sensory development, intellectual development, and emotional and social competence. Let's see what is the first at the base of this appreciate artistic development, appreciation of a beauty, the cultivation of aesthetic and artistic sense. Physical development indicates part of the body, the execution of simple physics motor elements to order balance simple motor skills let's see what means cognitive operation cause effect relationship contagion 
comparison with discovering the world. You can write in chat. You can write in chat. I will be glad to write after session your comments. Communication, receptive, listening and understanding, expressive, expression with the goal of progressive vocabulary development, sensory development, hand. Where is my hand? Eye, coordination, ability of motor skills, intellectual development and emotional and social competence, expression of knowledge about the environment, animals, phenomena, object, colors. This all is the global development of the child contributes decisively for integration, socialization, achieving education goals. Let's go further. Here is the development of individual's personality is mediated throughout the first formative individual and social cultural function of education. We know all this. Cognitive function of communication and perpetuation of cultural values. Number three on this road, because it's a road. All in life, our life is a road. We choose this road. We have the capacity and the privilege to choose our road. Number three, axiological function of valorization, valorization and creation. Number four, economic function of social utility. Number five, metacognitive function, continuous a source of seeing and self-affirmation based, based on self-knowledge. Corrective function, recovery, compensation. What means social and emotional competence? In order to benefit as much as possible from cognitive intelligence and to make it more flexible, we need, first of all, of what? Please write in chat your, your thoughts, please. Please write in chat. We need, a, first of all, a good emotional intelligence. This is my thought. Maybe you have another, but I think without this emotional intelligence, we can do nothing. Didn't mean like a teacher, neither a leader, neither a child, a children. The emotional intelligence is so important in our life, in our relation with others, in our profession. Why? Why? I ask you why. I can give you an answer, my answer, but I'm sure that you have your proper answer because we are all strong uh, on water, drops of water. But we are different also because no matter how smart we are, if we drive others away by aggressive behavior, if we are tentative to the way we present ourselves, and don't have enough resistance to stress, no one will stand around us to see what IQ we have high. That's about shining forward. Emotional development aims at the ability of our children to resonate social emotionally in activity and in relationship with relative and close adults, experiencing and expressing emotion, to cooperate with the group of children, understanding and recognizing emotion, to adapt to program kindergarten routine activity on experiential fields, transition, hygienic sanitary skills, to self control in activities, emotion regulation. Take a chance to be the change. Thank you so much because you was with us today. Open your mind, be an open mind. Together we can, together we will. Together we can grow leader, the future leader of this world. Together we can change many, many mentality. Thank you so much. Thank you, IIU, for this opportunity, for this privilege. We are the change. 
IIU is the change. Thank you. Have a great day. And thank you because you was with us. Thank you. And thank you, Nada, because you was with me today. <laughs>